it's me Jillian and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my project use it up little update sort of finale video so I'm going to be letting you guys know how I did with my project use it up little project that I've been doing this summer and I'm going to be letting you guys know um, what I completed and finished and some of the things that I didn't do so well trying to get rid of. If you guys enjoyed this video or enjoyed the little Project Use It Up thing that I did and would like me to do another one, definitely be sure to give this a big thumbs up to let me know. You guys can go ahead and subscribe to my channel by clicking the button on the screen and if you're on a phone, then you can go ahead and click the red button down below. If you guys have not checked out my social medias, those are always on the screen and in the description box down below. So definitely be sure to check those out as well. And yeah, that's it. So let's just get into the video. Okay, so I have a list of everything that I wrote down and I've been like writing things in and checking them off as I've been going. So I'm just gonna make my way down the list and see what I've used up. So let's get into this. Okay, so the very first thing on my list is this St. Ives Sensitive Skin Apricot Scrub. I did get a ton of use out of this. It is just about empty. It, I think is full to like here. I've been using it every single time that I shower since I started the Project Use It Up thing and I love it. I think it's an amazing skincare product and I'm definitely going to be buying another one once I run out of this. I definitely recommend it. And the next item I have is this totally juicy grapefruit peel off mask. Honestly, I think this is expired. There's no date on it but I am sure that it's expired because I have other peel off masks and they do not hurt nearly as much as this one to take off. It is super old because my mom remembers using it like a ton of years ago. I don't think this is good anymore so I just stopped using it because I wasn't sure if it was going to be good for my skin. I'm just going to end up throwing it out. It is pretty empty anyways but I'm just going to be throwing this one out. <laughs> Next I have this Neutrogena All-in-One Makeup Removing Cleansing Lotion and it, let me just tell you I do not like this at all. I don't understand why they would make a makeup removing cleansing lotion instead of just a wash. Like, I don't understand where someone came up with the idea to make it into a lotion to remove your makeup with. I told you guys in my first video about Project Use It Up and what I was gonna be using that I did not like this when I first initially purchased it. And I still don't like it. I tried so hard to enjoy it and I used it a couple nights in a row, honestly. And I just don't like it. I think it's such a hassle and I just did not enjoy this. So it did not get used up and I'm probably just going to throw this out. Next I have the Spectro Gel Blemish Prone Skin Facial Cleanser and I love this. This is my new go-to skincare product. I love this so much and I'm so happy that I have been using it for Project Use It Up because I don't think I would have found out about this otherwise. I did actually end up using all of this up and I bought a new one which I have been using for the past week now and I'm so happy that I discovered this. I love it. I think it does the greatest things for my skin and I'm really happy that I got into this. So I definitely recommend it if you have blemish prone skin and yes, I did use this all up. I have this Bath & Body Works Oahu Coconut Sunset Shower Gel and I actually didn't even get to touching this. I never used it once because I was busy using up the other shower gels. So this will definitely be put back on my shelf and I will be using this in the near future. I really, really like this though. I have smelt it and I think it smells amazing and I'm excited to use it. I just didn't get a chance to. I have this Bath & Body Works Wild Berry Tulips Shower Gel, which I did end up using up. Um, there's only this much left as you guys can see, which is probably only a couple more washes. So I'm just going to go ahead and say that I did get to finish this one on up and I enjoyed it. Just like all of my other Bath & Body Works shower gels. I have this Bath & Body Works Twilight Woods Mini Shower Gel, which same as the Oahu Coconut Sunset situation. I also did not get a chance to use this, so I will definitely be using this um, probably in the fall time. Honestly, it's a perfect scent for fall, so I'll probably get this up in my shower during fall. Also, I just wanted to put in a little quick um, thought of mine. I definitely think I went a little bit overboard and took too many products. Um, I don't know how I thought that I could have used all of this in one summer of like two months because there was just way too much, but I just wanted to get that out there so you guys don't think this is so lame that I didn't really use a lot, but um, yeah. I'm happy with the products that I did use, but I definitely think that I took too much to try and use in the amount of time that I gave myself. So if I ever do try this again, I definitely will give myself a lot less product. Next, I have this Bath & Body Works Be Joyful Shower Gel, and I did end up using all of this up right down to the bottom of the bottle. I really love this scent. It's a really great Christmassy kind of sweet smell, so 
glad I used this up and I can finally throw out this bottle and get rid of it. Next I have the comforter shower cream from Lush and I also did get to use this up. Um, it looks like there's stuff in the bottom still. There's a little bit I get. I really tried to squeeze out all the last bits out of this and it is empty so I did get to use this up. I think I'm gonna go and buy another shower cream in this scent. I have another one in like a scent that I'm not really too big on, um, but I definitely think I might go and buy one of these uh, in this scent. The comforter for wintertime especially because this is like using a moisturizer on your body as well as washing it. So I really enjoy this product and I think it'll be great for when my legs and skin are dry during the winter time, so I probably will end up going and buying out another one. Next I have these two bottles of Herbal Essence Shampoo and Conditioner, and this is just the Body NV Volumizing Shampoo and Conditioner with like citrus smell, and I used these both all up. I've always loved Herbal Essence Shampoo, so these weren't any different thing for me to go with. Um, I just used them up just like normal, and they were empty pretty, pretty quickly considering I have a lot of hair, and I use them up a lot. And I actually got a haircut. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like really short in the front. I got a bunch of layers at the front. So it's really short here. It like won't even stay back on my back. But yeah, so I definitely did get some use out of these and use them all up. Next, I have these two body lotions from Bath & Body Works. These are the Malibu Heat Body Lotion and Sweet Pea. And I did not get to use these up. I was actually alternating these like every single time that I used them. Um, alternating which one to use just so that I could try and use them both up but I definitely did not give myself enough time to use up two full bottles of lotion and I did not get to finishing these this one is full to here right here is where it's full and this one is full to about here um, this one was a lot fuller when I started with it but I definitely did not finish these up so I'm gonna keep on using these until they're empty and get some more use out of them while I can. Next I have two little mini Twilight Woods body lotions and this one I did end up actually using all up so I'm really proud of myself for that and this one I never even got to touching along with the shower gel so I'm probably actually just gonna put these two together and shower with the shower gel and then use this on the way out so yeah this is pretty full still along with the shower gel so I'll just pair these together in the future. Next, I have this fuchsia body mist from Fruits and Passion, and I did get a little bit of use out of this actually. It was a teeny bit more full when I started. I did not finish it off completely, so I'm going to continue to use this. It's just not my favorite scent, so I don't like gravitate to it when I'm choosing which perfume to use. So I think that's why I didn't use it all up, but I did use it a couple days and I got some use out of it. So I'm just going to continue to finish this one off. Next I have the Bath & Body Works Moonlight Path Fragrance Mist. And I told you guys in my original video for this that I was not sure if I'm going to even include this. Um, it was just like a possible use it up. And I did not touch it. I'm just going to throw this out. Honestly, I hate this smell. I think it smells like laundry, but like bad. Like not, I don't know. Let me spray it. Yeah, like, ugh, I don't even know. It smells like baby powder mixed with, like, laundry and then just, like, stinky. Like, I don't know. I don't like it at all, and I would never spray this on my body. So, it did not get used up. It's perfectly full. <laughs> I, 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 I totally inhaled so much of that. Oh, I can taste it. Ooh, I need water. Now for all of my Bath & Body Works hand sanitizers that I was trying to use. I finished up quite a bit of them, so I'm really proud of myself. So let's just hop into the first one. First one is Hippo Berry, and I finished this one completely. Then I have I Heart Bubblegum and Vampire Blood. These are both also completely empty now. And then also Heirloom Cranberries is also completely empty. In regards to the other one, the Pink Chiffon, I got a little bit of use out of. As you guys can see, it's almost full still actually, but I'm still using it and I will continue to finish this one off. Same goes for the Paris Armour. This one I didn't even actually get to touch, so I'm going to be finishing this on my own after. And then I have the Aloha Orchid, which I got some use out of actually. It's pretty much half full. As you guys can see, it's full to here. So I did use this one on up quite a bit, but it's not completely empty. So I'm just going to finish this one off. Next I have this Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I wanted to use this up because I actually have one of the like updated matte and poreless ones. And this one was just old and I wanted to finish it. And I actually did use this quite a bit. I've been using it every single day and I'm going to keep on using it. I have hit pan as you guys can see. Um, so I'm just going to continue to use this until it is all gone. And then I will fill it in with my newer one that I have. Next, I have these two candles from Bath & Body Works. These are the... Island Waters and Rainforest Gardenia. These ones are completely empty now. I finished these on up 
as you guys can see there's still some left in the bottom like here and here um, but the wick won't actually light anymore because I'm down to like the metal part I do have a ton of other candles to use so I'm glad that I finished these next I have this candle from Bath and Body Works and this is the cayenne caramel smell and I did not get any use out of this actually I was focusing on using up the other ones and really I didn't light a ton of candles this summer I even bought new ones at the beginning of the summer oh my god I can smell this and it smells amazing I did buy a lot of new candles this summer and I actually didn't even end up using a lot of them like this one that was in my Bath and Body Works haul at the beginning of the summer didn't get used once it's still fresh wick and ready to be used so I think that's why I didn't get any use out of this but I will definitely be lighting it in the fall because it's a nice caramel smell that I think will be great for the fall time so I will get this finished on up soon then I had a baby lips and I wrote down on my paper that it was in the like scent quenched and honestly I have no idea where this went I think it fell like underneath my bed and now I just can't find it down there like I've looked everywhere and I don't know where it is I think I might actually have to like move my bed did not finish that but as for the Rimmel lip balm that I had and this was in crystal I didn't get to finish this it actually broke on me I was using it one night because I got into like a routine of using it um, every night before bed like look what happened to it it's like wedged on the side it, like falls off every time I try to use it so I'm kind of just done with this just gonna throw it out I did get some use out of it but it's not completely finished obviously because it's broken then I also had this Rimmel um, lip balm to use also and this one's in the color berry blush and since this is such a pink color when I apply it I kind of just like dot it on my lips and then rub them together and it blends out into like a more natural pink color um, so I think that's why I haven't used it all up because I don't just like smear it all over my lips and get a lot of use out of it So it barely even gets touched when I'm using it So I did not get to finish this up, but I definitely do use it quite a bit and I have been getting into liking it So I definitely will be finishing this sometime But it's just gonna take a while since I don't apply it like any other lipstick And that is completely it for everything that I was trying to use and everything that I used up I hope you guys enjoyed this little project use it up thing that I did. I think I did pretty well honestly. I used quite a bit of the products and some of them I used most of if not all. The ones that I didn't completely use up were mostly just things that I didn't like. So I'm actually pretty happy with how I did though I didn't get rid of everything I did get rid of most of it. So I am pretty happy with how this turned out. If you guys enjoyed this definitely be sure to give it a big thumbs up and you can also subscribe to my channel. I would love that. Thank you so much. And that's going to be it for this video. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Ow.